creating a community of lifelong learners. Welcome to Step by Step Guide. This is Guide 1 of Microsoft Word. The tutorial will cover some basic and fundamental course in Word 2016. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using Word version 2016 on Windows 10 operating system. At the end of this course, you'll gain some fundamental knowledge about Word 2016. This tutorial will cover the following topics. To begin with, we start with creating blank document. Next, creating document from template. Then we will learn, opening existing document. We will also cover opening PDF or other document. And lastly, we wrap up with user interface and navigation. I hope you enjoy, let's start the course. Creating a new blank document using Word. First, start by launching Word, from Windows Start menu, or by double-clicking the shortcut icon on the desktop. Here we are using Windows 10 operating system, and the version of Word is 2016. When Word started, the first screen presented would be as shown on screen. Here you can open existing Word document, by just selecting anyone, currently showing recent document to oldest. Or you can also open, Word document which are not shown on the list, by clicking open other documents link. Clicking open other documents link, will open up another dialog box, as shown on screen, here you can browse for the location of the document to open. If you change your mind, and decided to create a new document instead, you can click the back arrow. Back on this screen, you have the option to create a blank document, or using document template. Document template, is an existing document with already predefined style, formats, and color, which require less modification. If you want to create document using templates, such as resume template or calendar template as shown, you can simply select the template. Here is the preview, when we selected snapshot calendar. If this particular template does not exist on your PC, it requires to be downloaded first from Microsoft Corporation website. So your computer needs to be connected to internet, in order for the template to be downloaded. Clicking create link, will prompt another dialog box, prompting to input the month and year. For this exercise, we decided to cancel. And instead we will create a blank document. When Word create a new blank document, you will notice, the title bar section which has window controls at the right end, and also the blank document, opens with the default file name of document1. From here, we can start creating our first document on the blank document. Creating Word document using template. We have covered briefly creating document using template. Using document template will save time, because styles, format, and color have been set and predefined. In this exercise, we will create a resume using Blue Spheres Resume Template, from Microsoft Corporation. As mentioned earlier, the template has to be downloaded first to your local computer, before you can start using it. When we launch Word, we will select Blue Spheres Resume Template. A preview of the template will be shown, click Create button to start using the template. Since I have already downloaded the template, I can start using the template. As you can see on the screen, the predefined styles has already been pre-selected. Including the image, fonts, etc. Here on first name and surname, I will enter and edit accordingly. For this exercise, I would not change the image on the resume, I will leave it as is. I would enter the address, and subsequent information such as phone, email, and website accordingly.
For this exercise, I would also not enter the rest of the information on the resume. Since this is the first time I create this document, I would need to save it, so that I can retrieve it next time. Click File tab to access the backstage view, then click Save As. I would select this PC and click Documents. A dialog box will pop up. By default, Word will take the first words to be the file name. Change the file name as Resume. For this exercise, we leave the Save As type as default, which is DOCX and click Save button. We have completed this simple exercise creating resume. This topic is about opening Word document. Besides opening the document from Word directly, the other method is simply, by double-clicking the Word file from File Explorer. Sometimes you may see, a slight different of Word icon. Which actually from an older version of Word. Like what you see on the screen, on the type of document, it is showing a Microsoft Word 97 2003 document. In our case, we can open this Word 97 document by double clicking it. But in other cases, the document can't be opened using Word version 2016. It could be due to the file has been corrupted or damaged. So we can try to fix the corrupted document by changing the file extension from DOCX to DOC or vice versa. Before changing the file extension, we would advise to make a backup first. By copying and pasting the document, which would create a clone or backup. Click OK to confirm changing the file extension. Now, this time, we would open from within Word itself. but unfortunately the document is already corrupted. Do you notice, when you open document from Word, there is a drop-down arrow? In the drop-down, there is open as read only. If we choose this option, the document would not be editable. As you can see on the screen, you cannot make any modification to the document. Open as read only sometimes is the default, when the document is in the network folder, not on local computer. Or when the file is already opened, by someone else. This is to prevent editing conflict, when more than one person editing the same document. The other open option is, open as copy, this scenario is quite similar, whereby the single document is already opened. But in this case, instead of open as read, you can have the option to open as different copy. In this case, when the document is open, it will create a copy of document. As you can see on the screen, on the title bar, the file name is changed to copy of document name. This concludes our short discussion about opening Word document. This topic is about opening PDF document using Word. Word document works best for PDF that contains mostly text. PDF document from copier machine generally will not be formatted well in Word document. For example, if you have a soft copy of receipt in PDF document, then Word might not be able to open it at all. When PDF document is converted to Word document, then you'll be able to edit and make modification. This is the steps to open PDF document in Word. Launch Word and click Open Other Documents link. Click Browse button and look for any PDF document.
For this exercise, I have prepared a simple PDF document, so I will go ahead and open select this document. Click the open button. Word will give a prompt message, saying they are trying to convert the PDF document, click OK to proceed. The PDF document is now open, and is rendered nicely in Word document. In some cases, the formatting like line breaks or page break may change. We may now change the format, and save this PDF document as Word document. As mentioned earlier, not every PDF document can be opened in Word. In our example, we will try opening another PDF document. Using the same method, click File then open other documents. Browse, select the PDF document and click Open. On the dialog box, click OK to convert PDF document to Word document. As you can see on the screen, this time Word unable to open the PDF document. This concludes our discussion. Exploring Microsoft Word User Interface and Navigation First start with the title bar, at the top, by default it is showing the document 1, if new document that has not been renamed. Otherwise showing document or file name. Next is the Quick Access Toolbar, currently showing four icons. First leftmost is Save Command, next to it is Undo Command. Next to Undo Command is Redo Command and the last command is Speak Selected Text command. Speak Selected Text allows text to be read out loud. You will notice, there is a drop-down arrow, which allows you add more commands to your preference. If we select Email, the Email command will be added in the Quick Access Toolbar. For now we leave it as default. Still on the discussion on the same section, on the top right most, there are common Windows buttons, such as Minimize, Maximize, and Close button. And also, there is a Ribbon Display Options drop-down. There are three modes in the Ribbon Display Options menu. First is the Auto Hide Ribbon, this displays your workbook in full screen mode, and completely hides the ribbon. To show the ribbon, click the Expand Ribbon command at the top of screen. Second mode is Show Tabs, this option, hides all command groups when they're not in use, but tabs will remain visible. To show the ribbon, simply click a tab. And lastly, the Show Tabs and Commands, this option maximizes the ribbon. All of the tabs and commands will be visible. This option is selected by default when you open Word for the first time. Now, let's move on to the ribbon and tabs discussion. Word 2016 uses a tabbed ribbon system, instead of the traditional menus. The ribbon contains multiple tabs, each with several groups of commands. The ribbon contains, all of the tools that you use to interact with your Microsoft Word. You will use these tabs to perform the most common tasks in Word. Each tab will have one or more groups, as shown on the screen. Some groups will have an arrow, you can click for more options. Right below the ribbon is the document area. This is the default interface for document area, you may add features such as rules or margin. If the document R is not fit into current window size, you may see the scroll bar on the right side of the screen. Currently what you see on screen, the document R is fit into window size, so there is no scroll bar on the right side. The blinking cursor or insertion point, is where new text will display when entered. Next, at the bottom is the status bar, right at the bottom. The status bar is located below the document window area. At the bottom left hand side, showing the number of page currently on the document. Also showing the number of words, currently showing zero because it is blank document. And lastly, the language setting. Each of the above setting is clickable, on screen showing the language setting, upon clicking language. Next is the red mode, print mode, and web mode. Clicking red mode, 
will displays the document full screen, the document in red mode is not editable though. Next to read mode is print layout mode, which shows what the document looks like when it's printed. This the default mode. Lastly is the web layout mode, which shows how the document would look like, if it were saved as a web page. On the status bar is the zoom slider, which is on bottom right hand corner. This slider allows you to adjust how large the document is displayed on the screen, for viewing purpose, will not affect the document size. Currently the zoom level is 40%. Move the slide to zoom in or zoom out. What you is the default setting for status bar. The status bar can be customized, by right clicking on the status bar to bring up the customize menu. Like you see on screen, the options that have been enabled, will have a check mark. This topic wrapped up this lesson. I hope you enjoy and continue with next lesson. Please share your view and feedback. Please do not forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.